Hello everybody, welcome back to 366 Days of Hope. My name is Pearl and I'm here to share our next object lesson, which is sweet like honeysuckles. Now, I don't know if any of you guys used to do this when you were a kid, but I definitely did when I was younger. And we would go to these little flowers and pull the flowers so we would get the stem at the end of the, the flower and we would suck the a nectar out which tasted very similar to honey and it was super sweet and it was nice um, and we would just do do that when we would just go on our way home uh, from school and these were just like really fond memories that I had and there are some really cool things that you could do with honeysuckles actually honeysuckles um, can be used to uh, basically put into salads you can, like the flowers are so you can pull all the flowers as long as they're the edible version um, and you can also use the flowers to make a jelly out of it you, some of them actually grow berries and those berries are edible and so you can definitely use that as well and when I was thinking about you know what object lessons we can gain from honeysuckles it made me think of this bible verse from um from psalms 103 where it talks about you know god's words and it says like how sweet are your words to taste sweeter than honey to my mouth and i was thinking like you know these honeysuckles they are temporary they're not going to nourish us the way I feel like God's word is going to nourish you when you take it in and it transforms. And I think that's so beautiful about it. But also when you think about, you know, all of the different ways in which honeysuckles can also be used it made me think of the different talents that we have as well um, in that all of us have talents that we can use to benefit people and we can be as, as sweet as honey in the lives of the people that we touch as well. And, you know, I just thought about the interactions I had with uh, some sales agents. And I realized there are great agents out there that represent the companies really well. And there are really bad ones. And for the first time in a long time, I actually had a really bad one. Um, I, from the very beginning when I spoke to this person, they reacted as if they didn't even want to be talking to me and that I was wasting their time just seeking for help. And I was really disappointed in this person, but more frustrated that they weren't willing to listen to what I was saying and trying to understand. Um, Whereas all the other agents after speaking to this person, I was so blessed that I had some really good agents that were able to help me and assist me and really cared about what I had to say, what I needed, and were able to address it and resolve my conflict um, and resolve my problem. And so they were not sweet as honey. And so when I think about what you're able to, you know, give your words impact, your attitudes impact people. So when you come off sweet like a honeysuckle, you can definitely be a blessing to the people around you. And when you give your talents to people and it benefits them, then you continue that blessing. So with that said, guys, may you live, thrive, and be healthy. Take care. Bye.